Let's start with the question that most people have. What is an enteral feeding tube? An enteral feeding tube allows liquid food to enter your stomach or intestine through a soft, flexible tube. A tube inserted in the stomach is called a gastrostomy or G-tube. A tube inserted in the stomach but ends in the small intestine is called a jejunostomy or J-tube. The site on the abdomen where the tube is inserted is called a stoma. The location of the stoma depends on your specific operation and the shape of your abdomen. Most stomas lie flat against your body and are round in shape. Conditions such as cancer, trauma, nervous system, and digestive system disorders can affect your ability to eat and require a feeding tube either temporarily or permanently. Let's review your digestive system so you understand a little more about the feeding tube. When food enters the mouth, the lips and tongue move it toward the back of the throat. Food moves into the esophagus and into the stomach. The opening at the top of the esophagus tightens to keep food from entering the airway or trachea. Food travels from the stomach into the small intestine, where enzymes break down food into thick liquid. The liquid then passes through the large intestine or colon and eventually moves out through the rectum. Most gastrostomy tubes have an anchoring device on the inside of the stomach and an external device. This secures the tube in the stomach. A percutaneous gastrostomy tube, PEG, or percutaneous gastrojejunostomy tube, PGJ, is held in place with a mushroom-shaped device on the inside of the stomach. A PEG tube or PEG button may be a short or a long tube that extends out of the stoma about 12 inches. A PGJ tube ends in the small intestine. A skin-level gastrostomy tube, or gastric button, lies flat on the surface of the abdomen. The button is opened during feedings, and an extension tube twists and locks into the opening. The button is held in place with a water-filled balloon that sits inside the abdomen. When feedings need to bypass the mouth, esophagus, and stomach, a feeding tube is inserted into the jejunum or small intestine. Gastrojejunal, or GJ tubes, are surgically placed through the abdominal wall into the stomach with the feeding tube ending in the jejunum. Most GJ tubes have a separate gastric port to access the stomach for venting and some medications. The port marked jejunal is used for the feeding. GJ tubes are available both as long tubes or low-profile buttons. A jejunostomy, or J-tube, is inserted by making a surgical incision on the surface of the abdomen with the tube placed directly into the jejunum. A fixation device holds the tube in place. Jejunal feedings are given continuously. The feeding may be started slowly and the rate increased as tolerated.